Hey everyone, it's Ivan with KitBadger.com here to bring you another gear review. Today we're talking about something near and dear to me in that I carry it pretty much every day in this uncertain world. Whether I'm wearing shorts or pants, pretty much always have a pocket down here on my right. And in that I carry a RAT, Rapid Application Tourniquet. I was originally introduced to these tourniquets while working downrange at one of our sites. Our medic at that site, when he wasn't contracting, was a pararescue PJ reserve. And he actually had one of the very first prototypes of one of these tourniquets, and he was singing its praises. One of the things he had mentioned was the comparative lack of discomfort compared to a soft T or even the cat tourniquet. When those tourniquets are applied enough to stop the bleeding, you end up with a lot of pinching that usually happens. And this tourniquet design alleviated a lot of that. Its application is really simple, as we'll see right here. So our tourniquet, we have our two ends. We have our tail here, and then we have this loop, which we always keep in it, which is made up of this metal piece, which has our two cleats, one on either side. To use this, I'm going to simply put the tail through here, and pull it up. I now have a larger loop. If need be, I can slide this over a limb, be it a leg or arm, or if someone's big, can't get down around their boot or anything like that, I can simply take this in, slide it under their leg, then through, at which point I'm in a position that I can use the tourniquet. One-handed on an arm, for example, bring it up here, and then once I'm there, I'm gonna start tightening this guy around here. Now at this point, to secure it, I'm gonna just slide this piece into the cleat. I'm not gonna do that because I don't have anyone to help me get this out. If you are practicing this by yourself, which you should definitely practice, maybe not necessarily by yourself, I would be very wary of throwing that thing and sinking it into the cleat if you're by yourself practicing it one-armed on one of your arms. Ask me how I know. So that same medic also mentioned about how these are so versatile because it's a bungee cord. You can use them for securing gear. And that actually I've came to really appreciate, especially going into the backcountry. I obviously want a tourniquet on me, and while I keep one on my person, I also go ahead and use the backups I have to secure gear. Here on my trusty Gregory pack, which has served me for decades, um, on top, I have my tent, which has these OR, Outdoor Research, cinch straps. Work great, they're light, awesome. At the end of the day though, they're cinch straps. And you can use them for different things, but definitely not a tourniquet. And since it's nice to have redundancies and extra tourniquet, I go ahead and take one of the extra ones I have, and I can use it down here to secure my sleeping pad. So I can take the tourniquet, weave it through this strap, as well as this strap going across the bottom of my pack. And then at this point, I can go ahead and fit my sleeping pad here across the bottom. So getting my sleeping pad centered here, take up some of the slack, cinch this guy down, come over, Slide into the cleat, secure there. Stuff this little tail back in there. And gone ahead, secured my sleeping pad, and now I'm carrying an extra tourniquet with me, which hopefully won't need it, but good to have. I've been using a number of tourniquets. I'm definitely sold on the rats. I appreciate its ease of use, one-handed manipulation, as well as its functionality in using it for kind of out of the box thinking, anything you use a bungee cord for. Whether you're trooping through the subway or out in the back country, these will serve you well. You can find them through RE Factor Tactical, about, I think 17 bucks, and then some shipping, or through Amazon for roughly the same price, free shipping. Come in different colors, you can get them this orange color, blaze orange, as well as a like neon green, and then a bright red and a black. As always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time.
Brussels. 